Good morning once again. Um, I hope you enjoyed our walk in the woods together. I certainly enjoyed it. I love, I love being out there and I, and I love having a chance to share that with you this morning. And so we'll do more of those uh, actually in the future. And so thanks for coming along uh, with me this morning. So uh, like I said this morning, we are to look for the risen Christ and the rising Christ. And there is no better place to encounter Jesus than at this table, the communion table that was set by him, by his sacrifice on the cross. And so Jesus commands us that when we are together, um, uh, as much as we possibly can, that we ought to share in this sacramental loving feast that he has set for us, full of grace. And so look and feel for the risen Christ during this time. Let us begin. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin, and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and before one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Here's the best news you'll ever hear. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church. You deliver us from slavery to sin and death and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup. Again, he gave thanks to you gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit in us gathered here and in your homes. And on these gifts of bread and wine, make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world. Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forevermore. Amen. And now, seated where you are, maybe next to family, that you can hold hands. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We who are one body, the North Cross, United Methodist Church, Body of Christ, and her friends, all of you who are watching now, and this is one love. When we break this bread, is it not a means of sharing in the broken body of Christ for our salvation? So Christ freely gives himself away. He breaks himself apart for all of humanity. People eat this and they are changed. They have a personal encounter with Christ and they're transformed. And then you and I, for the rest of our lives, we break ourselves apart. And we give ourselves away in the name of Jesus to as many people as possible till we take our last breath. Likewise, when we give thanks over the cup, is it not a means of sharing in the shed blood of Christ that was poured out for us? So Christ's body is broken and Christ unconditionally pours his love into us. And that love ought to unconditionally leave us to others. There should be no impedance to that flow. One of the things I, I love to say, and it, it drew me back to God, is that uh, this is not the Methodist table. This is the Lord's table. All are welcome to come and receive communion. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a member of the church that I serve or any church. This is a table of grace that is available to all. And you are welcome, anyone's welcome, to take communion right where you are, along with me. We uh, serve the unfermented fruit of the vine. People have asked me, why do we not use wine? We, uh, we serve the unfermented fruit of the vine out of sensitivity for those in our congregation that may have special needs, and certainly out of sensitivity and concern for our children. We serve communion by intention. Uh, we hand a piece of bread and say, this is the body of Christ broken for you. And then we take the cup and say, this is the blood of Christ shed for you. And then we dip the bread into the grape juice. And then we partake both elements at the same time. So let's share in this meal together. This is the body of Christ that was broken for you and I. This is the blood of Christ that was shed for you and I. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for instituting this feast for us, this feast of grace, where the mystery of the incarnational body of Christ is present, that the risen and the rising Christ is here now. Jesus, we thank you for this sacrifice that has changed people for over 2,000 years and continues to change people into the future. But our prayer is that people continue to hear the good news, that they can have life and have it abundantly today, maybe through this sacrament. That is our prayer. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you so much for joining me for communion. Um, I appreciate you uh, always, and I love you, and I miss you, and I cannot wait to be back together with us in some form or fashion. We'll do it, and we'll do it safely. Hey, have a great day today. Uh, I love you.